Some of the leadership tips that I've learned along the way is to deliver what you promise. There are a lot of people that are counting on you, and if you make that something that you stick with, if you've made a commitment, make it happen, and people will be proud and want to keep having you on their team. One of the other things that I've learned is that you really have to treat others with a lot of respect. Whoever you're working with today, you're basically um, increasing that network every day. And each time you make a difference with a group and people enjoy working with you in that group and the results that you're able to accomplish, that word spreads. And as you go in your career and you meet new people, it basically opens the door for the next group because oftentimes you'll find that in the next group of people you work with, a subset of them are the same folks and you're already able to springboard and do even greater things. Some of the things girls should be doing now um, is really just working on taking every leadership opportunity that they possibly can on group projects. Those are things I think I know I struggled with. It's not sometimes the most fun work at school, and sometimes you may not get the best partner or group to work with, but if you take the time to really learn how to read the individuals within that group and what characteristics are required to motivate somebody else, that's the set of skills that you're going to use every day in the work environment. Because no matter what you do, you're pretty much, if you're in any kind of a technical field where you're going to produce a part or produce a component, it's going to require the choreographed event of a lot of folks. And knowing how to make and motivate other team members is a key factor. So take those leadership opportunities, stand up, take charge, and it'll pay back.